there everybody, my name is Coach Shadongsterborn, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park predictions video. Today is from Drayton Manor and this is my next five year predictions for the park. This video was requested uh, by Edward Mullen, Nick Daniels, Coaster Mayhem and Kieran Glover, so big shout out to all four of you. If you have a video idea, even if it's already been mentioned in the comments down below more videos, then comment it down below anyway, because you'll get a shout out either way. Now, please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question for the 2000 subscriber Q&A. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So to look at the next five years, we have to look, especially since it's 2020, at the last decade of Drayton Manor. So starting off with 2010. Now, in 2010, the park Soriani and Moser Polip ride, Sombrero, and the enclosed Waltzer attraction Black Revolver were both closed. And on the site of the Sombrero ride and the surrounding area, they introduced in 2011 a Vacoma family boomerang coaster called Ben 10 Ultimate Mission. Also in 2011, the park opened Drayton Manor Hotel, Parkland's Restaurant and Bar, and the Grill Inn. And they also made their boat ride by Bear Rides and Farmer Studios Excalibur SBNO or standing but not operating. In 2012, the park introduced the brand new Little Prince film in the 4D cinema and the Cartoon Network street themed area of the park. In 2013, Thomas Land introduced a brand new monorail style attraction called Winston's Whistle Stop Tour. In 2014, the Black Revolver site was transformed in Action Park area of the theme park into Air Race manufactured by Zamperla. In 2015, a new Thomas Land expansion with three new rides was introduced, a Zamperla Water Mania attraction called Captain Sea Adventure, a Zamperla Fire Brigade ride called Flynn's Fire Rescue in partnership with West Midlands Fire Service, for those of you who need a little bit of information extra, and Toby's Tram Express, which is a Zamperla Barnyard attraction. In 2016, Pirates Adventure closed and was not announced to reopen as of yet. And there was a high ropes course introduced called Vertigo. In 2017, Accelerator, which was a re-theme of Ben's Ultimate Mission from the Ben 10 license ship into this hot rod sports car introduction of a theme. They also removed the chairlift rod and put it in storage and, a big, and the big wheel was replaced by a pay to ride themed to Accelerator and around the surrounding area. Splash Canyon was involved in an unfortunate tragedy and had to be closed until further notice. In 2018, the G-Force Marathon X car coaster closed at the end of the season. Splash Canyon remained SBNO after the tragedy in 2017. And also, the Nest Quick Wild West shootout was re-themed for 2018 up until present day with Sheriff's Showdown. In 2019, G-Force and Splash Canyon remained standing but not operating, but the Drayton Queen, the boat, confirmed it was never to return. And in 2020, G-Force was finally deconstructed after over nearly two years in SBNO. And also, parts of Pirates Adventure was sold in an auction at the ride. And February half-term event was cancelled due to Storm Dennis floods. So that, my friends, was the last decade of Drayton Manor. So before we look in the next five years, let's sort of run through that last ten years in a bit of a little summary. So, as you can see there, it's in terms of investment, a couple of thrill rides in there, a coaster, a thrill ride, and of course it was mainly Thomas Land Investments. Apart from that, it was closures, cancellations. It wasn't the best decade for Drayton Manor in my opinion. I think the previous decade was one of the better ones compared to this one. Uh, because compared to the, lo the, the amount of investment, it was a lot of closures. So it wasn't a very good one for openings at Drayton Manor in my opinion. And I think that obviously, and I forgot to mention it as well, uh, in that last couple of years, Vertigo was listed as removed at the end of 2019 or closed at the end of 2019 so you know that's another attraction gone so it's a very it's a very difficult decade for Drayton Manor and I think it will get easier we've got to have some kind of hope so I'm going to be you know realistic with these predictions so 
let's get into the next five years at Drayton Manor according to my predictions. So let's start with 2021. And 2021 is all surrounding that G4 site. Now you've got to remember the park are going for a more family atmosphere. They're going to be more of a family park. So in 2021, I'm thinking they're going to introduce a brand new family ride on the G4 site or family rides. Now, I mentioned this in a previous Drayton Manor video, how there was a blue loop interview with Drayton Manor. Uh, and there was a section of the interview that was uh, later taken down uh, about future investment and it mentioned the G-Force site being transformed into some kind of seaside area of the park. Uh, so maybe they could go with a selection of family rides to sort of back up on that rumour uh, for 2021, especially since it's 2020 and obviously the park's closed. And I'm sure the park are wondering where they're going to invest next. So I think a couple of family rides on G-Force site would be very, very nice for the summer as well. So a nice seaside themed area for the families open for the summer of 2021. Moving in to 2022 and 2023 now, this is where the next major development work is set to commence. And I think we're going to see some part TLC work over the next two years, uh, over those two years. Um, so TLC, paint ups, signage, uh, any extra theming items around the park, just little things to make it seem nicer. In 2024 or 2025, however, we're going to see the park's next major development. Now, I've listed two sites here. However, one of these rumours, or one of these predictions, in my opinion, will all depend on Splash Canyon reopening, because I think Splash Canyon could reopen between 2022 and 2023. However, if Splash Canyon doesn't reopen, and it does get removed, uh, I could see that site not only being another site for major development in 2024 or 2025, however, I can also see um, that site being the site for one of my predictions. So for the Excalibur site or the Splash Canyon site, an RES Rapids ride system. So this is a Ride Engineers Switzerland system. This is the same system as Mystic River Falls at Silver Dollar City. So we could see a similar thing with the elevator lift and the drop. Uh, causing the massive splash, kind of like their ver like a little, it's like a cheaper version of Infinity Falls, really, at SeaWorld Orlando. So I think a cheaper version of that would be a very good way to go, in my opinion. So if that doesn't happen and Splash Canyon does reopen, I think the Excalibur site could be the site for a Vacoma for fa Family Suspender Coaster. Started a bit then. Um, yeah, a Vacoma Family Suspender Coaster, like Flight the Pterosaur at Polton's Park in the Lost Kingdom area. Something like that would go very well, especially if they fill the lake in. And I've circled in blue Pirates Adventure as well, because I believe they could use that as the station and queue line for the ride and connect it with the Excalibur site. Now, if that doesn't happen, Splash Canyon does reopen, and if this coaster or a Rapids ride on that site or Splash Canyon doesn't happen, I think Pirates Adventure alone would be the next site for development and I would see that being a Garmondale dart ride now it doesn't matter what kind of dart ride whether it's the same as Gangster Grand of the Ride or it's a different dart ride system I believe that Garmondale would be the manufacturers of the ride now Gar Garmondale are a Derby based manufacturer the money to manufacture Gangster Grand of the Ride which is set to open in the new David Williams world at Alton Towers uh, in 2021 probably it's going to be relaunched uh, but you know, there was a rumour that this this motion simulator ride system for Gangster Granny, that is rumoured to be the ride system for a new dart ride at Dollywood as part of their Wildwood Grove Phase 2. Uh, they haven't yet announced because, of course, that, that announcement got postponed because of COVID-19. So Dollywood has still yet to make their largest ever investment announcement. Uh, over the Obviously, it's a large investment plan over the next few years. So, you know, that has yet to be announced. Uh, however, there's a rumour that that Garmondale ride system would be involved in this world will grow phase two as well as the rumors of a new coaster in the future as well so you know dollywood has still yet to make that announcement but that is the rumor at this stage uh so garmondale are making strides in the world of theme park engineering and manufacturing and i think that a garmondale ride system would work very very well at drayton manor especially a pirate themed one a pirate themed one because it pays homage to the former Pirates Adventure Dart Ride. So a brand new Dart Ride system in that building. And they fixed the building as well. So there we go. So that is my five year prediction. So it's so it's you know park TLC work, new family ride on G4 Society, and a new major development. And I do want to add that the year that the major development opens in, whether it's 2024 or 2025, the other year would be another park improvement year, like an off year kind of thing. 
So, and also don't forget, 2025 is the park's 75th birthday. So I'm sure there'd be celebrations for that. Maybe that's the year of the development to celebrate 75 years of Drayton Manor, or they do it the year before to focus on celebrations for the 75th year. So that would be my way forward with that. So obviously the major development is the one to focus on. Like I said, I think there's only one coaster option it could be, and that is the Vekoma Family Suspender Coaster. It's cheaper than other models, and I think that it fits the family market the park are now going for, or the more family market the park are now going for. And it replaces G-Force in the coaster lineup as well. It's sort of, now G-Force is out of the coaster lineup, it sort of replaces it in the lineup, and it brings the coaster count back up for Drayton Manor. Uh, and, and again, like I said, it fits the market. It absolutely fits the market. Personally, I think, you know, if, the, if we were looking at more expensive developments, I'd like to see a map power splash on Excalibur's site, but I know that will never happen, unless the part surprises. Uh, but I think that Drayton Manor are on the right track. I think they are looking towards the future. I think they've got a good target market they're aiming for now, and that's families. You know, Poulton's Park, they have some good coasters in there, and they're a family market. So, you know, Drayton Manor, just because they're going for a more family market, doesn't mean they're going put to not put in some great investments. They're going to still put in some fantastic investments. So I think Drayton Manor are on the up. I think they're going to improve. I think they're going to come out of this little rot that they've got over the last few years towards the end of the last decade. You know, I think they're going to get out of it and they're going to go on the rise again. So uh, we're going to see some new investments to Drayton Manor, in my opinion, in the future. And we'll be looking forward to every single one of them. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park predictions video from Drayton Manor Theme Park in Tamworth. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.